<laughs> Can you not stop eating it? No. <laughs> it's a beautiful day today, so I'm going to light the barbecue and cook a delicious jerk lamb. I'm going to be serving it with coconut rice and a chilli pineapple salsa. And it looks like it's really special, but actually it's really easy to make. Now for the lamb, I'm using a butterflied leg and you can buy it like this pre-packed or you can ask the butcher on the service counter to do it for you. Or if you want to, you can always do it yourself. It's a really excellent cut for cooking on the barbecue. I think it's very forgiving. For the jerk seasoning, I'm keeping it really simple. I'm just going to use a spice blend and it's got everything in there that we need. Cumin, garlic, thyme, some paprika, and then just sprinkle it over on both sides. And then I'm just going to use my hands to really massage it into the lamb. And the cut I've got here is extra trimmed and I think that's probably quite a good idea for cooking it on the barbecue. And then just turn it over and rub the rest on the other side. And obviously it's up to you how much spice you use. I'm going to be quite generous with it because I want lots of flavour in there. And also it's going to tenderise the meat, especially if you give it a little bit of a massage as you go. I'm just going to set this aside for a few minutes while I give my hands a good wash. Now, while the lamb is sitting, I'm going to make a lovely gremolata to serve with it. And traditionally, it's made with parsley, but mine is with coriander. To that, I'm going to add the grated zest of a lemon. You can tell that this is going to be really, really zingy, and it's going to work really well with the warm flavours from the lamb. Next, we need a garlic clove. And just slip off that skin, and you can crush it with a knife, but as I've already got my grater out, I'm just going to grate that straight in. A good pinch of salt and then some olive oil. And I'm using an Italian extra virgin one here. We need about 200 mils, but I'll put the recipe in the description for you. And it should be able to drizzle off the spoon, so just add as much as you think you need. So that's our gremolata already, so I think it's time to put the lamb on the barbecue. And because we're spending so much time outside, we've got a new gas barbecue. It's nice and hot, so I'm gonna lay on the lamb. Now it needs about 30 minutes if you want it pink, if you want it a bit more well done, go for about 40 minutes. And the thing I really like about lamb is because you've got the different thicknesses, you'll get the different levels of doneness, so everyone should be happy. Now while the lamb is cooking, I'm going to make some rice to serve with it. I've got long grain rice here. I'm going to be cooking it in coconut water, and that's going to add that lovely delicate sweetness to the rice, which is going to be fantastic with the gremolata and the lamb. And we're just going to bring that to the boil, and then pop the lid on cook it for about 15 minutes until it's almost done. Now to finish off the rice, I'm going to stir in some coconut cream. The texture is going to be so creamy and lovely on this. And just pop the lid back on and give it a couple more minutes until the grains are tender. And then just slice the top off the pineapple. We don't need that bit. And then we're going to pop this onto the barbecue when we take off the lamb. I think the lamb might be ready to turn. Let's take a look. Yes, some beautiful colour on there. I'm going to give it another about 12 minutes, I think. Now the lamb looks really lovely, so I'm going to take it off now. And while it's resting, I'm going to cook the pineapple in the same place. Now, if you've got a charcoal barbecue, it works really, really well if you put the pineapple straight into the hot coals and it'll really char very, very easily. What we want it to do is blacken up really nicely and the skin will become crisp and inside the pineapple becomes really sweet and juicy. That's our pineapple nicely charred. So now for the chilli dressing. I've got a couple of chilies here that I've seeded and chopped quite finely. Then they go just into a small pan. To that, I'm going to add some caster sugar, a bit of white wine vinegar and some water. That's going to make a lovely chilli dressing to pour over our pineapple. Now for the pineapple, make sure it's cool enough to handle. And then just with a large knife, we're just going to slice down it to remove that skin. You can see how lovely and juicy it is from having that time on the heat and then just turn it the other way round and trim off any of those bits that you might have missed. Now to dice the pineapple, I'm just going to slice it straight down and then across into dice. And we're serving this salsa with our lamb, but actually I think it'd be delicious with pork as well or even some chicken. Anything spicy really, it's going to complement very well. I'm just going to pour that hot chilli syrup straight over the pineapple. So the lamb is really nicely rested and it's time to carve it. I'm just going to slice it quite thinly and at the beginning we've got the meat that's slightly more well done and as we work in it should get really really nice and pink. Now there's quite a lot of lamb here, there's easily enough for six or eight but leftover lamb is great in so many things. It's great just in a sandwich, of course you could make a spicy shepherd's pie and it freezes well too. Now for that lovely flavoursome gremolata I'm just going to drizzle that right over the top. Oh, that looks great, Mum. Uh, Fabio, you take the lamb. Cool. 
Cool. Thank you. Cass, pineapple. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much, Mum. You're very welcome.